Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about four different types of cameras. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, what they can see and not see. And this is going to be interesting. Take a look. Okay, so here they are along with uh, four different types of light sources. Uh, let's start with this one. So this one is your regular webcam. So this is uh, what we see. So it has a sensor inside that sees uh, you know, all the colors that we see. Now next uh, is this. This is another webcam. Uh, but this one sees in near infrared. So that thing in front, it's a filter. Uh, because this thing sees uh, basically all the colors that we see plus the near infrared. So this, what this filter does is it blocks out all the visible light. So we'll use this just to see stuff in near infrared. Now on this side we have, this is a UV camera. So I'm not sure if the sensor inside is the same as both of them. But this one has this filter in front. See that uh, shiny red thing? So that's a filter that filter out, filters out all the visible light and all the infrared stuff and only passes through the ultraviolet light. So that's what this camera sees. On this far end, uh, this is the FLIR Lepton on a pure thermal board. So this one sees uh, uh, far infrared radiation. So this sees uh, the stuff that you know the the heat that our bodies give out so along with that we also have uh, four different light sources so this one is a regular flashlight so this can illuminate things that we normally see this one is a light that emits near infrared there you go so with the naked eye, can't actually see that, but with, uh, you know, most cameras can see a little bit of uh, the near infrared if you shine the light directly in front of it. So this is the type of camera uh, and lighting that's used in security cameras. So it can see at night. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, this one is a UV flashlight. So you can actually see it. Uh, it has a slightly blue, bluish color. But we'll use this to illuminate things so that uh, we can see what this thing sees. Next. On the far end, although the, the uh, pure thermal does not require I any light source, but this is your regular run-of-the-mill flashlight that uses an incandescent bulb. So this is also useful for our tests because all of these use LEDs, so they're basically cold. Uh, this one has a bulb that has a filament, so that filament inside is going to heat up. So we'll be using it in our tests. Uh, also, uh, when I show you the final... Okay, so this is the setup. So I just taped everything onto this uh, box with the small tripod. So this is the visible camera. That one's the UV. This is the thermal camera. And that one's the near infrared. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the setup. Uh, so I have uh, this thing mounted on the table. Uh, there's my other camera and you can see the monitor. Okay, so you can see me now. Uh, and uh, here are our four different uh, cameras. So this is the UV. This one is the regular camera. This one is the near infrared and this is the thermal. So you can't see me in the in the UV because there isn't any UV light being uh, emitted now. Uh, 
let me get out of the way. I don't want to shine this thing. Uh, my face. Ah, wait, let's. Uh, there we go. Let's try the uh, the UV flashlight. So there you go. So the UV cam captures it, and almost everybody else also because this thing actually has a. You know, you, you can see it visually, but you can see it registering there on the UV cam. Uh, let me get something. Okay, so it's a piece of cardboard. Uh, let me get out of the way. Just... There you go. So it takes quite a bit to get something on the uh, UV cam. Try my hand. There you go. Just a very small image. So why is that? Because uh, that particular UV cam, this one, is used mostly outdoors. So when you have the sun shining through you, you'll get a much more clearer image. So. Uh, no need to explain this one, the regular cam, that, that's what we use, that's what, that's what we see. Uh, next, let's try the regular flashlight. So I'm shining the regular flashlight straight into the camera lenses. So you can see it blinds the, uh, the one with the, the visible camera. Not so much with the infrared. Uh, the thermal, no effect. And the UV, you can hardly see it because this is a an LED, so it doesn't emit anything, anything in the UV range as compared to this UV camera, which emits a lot of UV. Next, let's try the near-infrared spotlight. So for security cams, this, this is what's used. There you go. Hmm. So surprisingly, it there seems to be some. I'm not sure if it's uh, actually emitting UV or it's just because the light is so strong it goes through the filter but it might it might might actually be emitting some uh, some UV oops <laughs> sorry about that no it's not it's not actually emitting any UV because it's not reflecting off of my hand so as you can see There you go. With the near infrared light, uh, the security cam. If you take a look at the, you know, this one, it has no effect. I mean, you wouldn't even know there's a light there. Uh, it does have an effect on the near infrared. So there you go. You know, very bright face right there. No effect on the. There you go. No effect on the. Thermal. Next, uh, let's go with the the incandescent light. Okay. So it has an effect on all because this one, uh, this light uh, sort of emits a lot. Uh, a very wide uh, wide range of radiation so you can see it in the UV and it blinds almost all, all the cameras so why don't you see it on on the thermal because there's glass in front uh, let's go to the next part 
Okay, so for this next experiment, uh, what would happen if I turn off the lights? <coughs> yeah, uh, there you go. So it's uh, it's uh, it's not totally dark. It's, uh, it, it's starting to uh, it's about six a.m. So there's a bit of light uh, going through the windows and stuff. But as you can see, you can't see me on the visible light on the uh, on the visible light camera. You can see me a bit on the near infrared. So uh, what happens with a if you use the near infrared lighting? So this is what security cameras see. So uh, with a visual camera with the normal camera can't see anything see no lighting but this illuminates a lot in the near infrared range and of course the thermal is always there so that's why they use these types of cameras for security purposes because you can see a lot in the dark without the other people actually knowing that you're lighting them up. Okay, uh, next. Uh, yeah, one of the things wh that I wanted to do was, you know, combine all of these things into just one to one headset that you can see all, all these different uh, wavelengths. So I remember this scene from one of the Predator movies. You know, th th this is the default Predator look, right? It sees in infrared. But there was one episode, I think they managed to sort of get around that. You know, the, the, the guy hunting him down. And I think I remember uh, him fiddling around with his helmet and it says searching for... It was looking at different... Ba uh, wavelengths and it settled on UV and then he was able to see all those people now but then that's a separate project uh, okay uh, let's see let's see what different materials uh, how different materials are affected okay uh, materials so if you take a look these are both black in the Take a look at that in the visible light camera but in near infrared you know this even though it looks black actually reflects a lot of near infrared yeah. so it looks white on the your infrared camera okay so next uh, how would a flame look so a flame emits all sorts of uh, wavelengths of uh, light so you can see it in all the cameras next how would I look if I were behind the piece of plastic Aha. so you can see plastic passes through you know the visible and the infrared but in the far infrared or the thermal it blocks it and kind of neat uh, let's see uh, that's also true for you know thin pieces of plastic so that was the reason why Earlier, when I was shining the this the bulb into the thermal camera, uh, it couldn't see anything because this glass was blocking it. Uh, wait, let me try to get this thing out. There you go. So, with the glass, can actually it, it it blocks the the heat coming out of that bulb. Okay, next. 
So this one is particularly uh, uh, near to me because uh, th so this is a plastic trash bag. So what I used to do before was when we were going to the beach, I used these, these trash bags to cover you know, the coolers and the uh, bottles of beer because I thought, hey, hey, it, 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 it's it's black. You can't, you know, it doesn't, uh, it should provide some shade. But that's totally wrong because in, as you can see in, in the visible camera, blocks the light passing through. Uh, same thing with the near infrared almost but you can still see it a bit transparent but in the thermal range it's totally so you can see you can still see my hand behind it so what that means is uh, basically uh, this was useless for the purpose that I was doing you know trying to cover make the coolers uh, less warm because all the heat from the sun was still passing through the trash bags. So next we have a glass. Uh -huh. and what about this? The glass with ice. So you can see the color is darker in the in the thermal camera yeah. mm. there you go <laughs> uh, fun with thermal cameras There you go. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, one more thing. <sighs> so, a bottle of Coke. So, this is uh, soda, Coca Cola. And now, again, you can see the differences in you know the wavelengths being passed through. So in normal visible cameras, can't see anything behind it. But in near infrared, you can see my finger going through. So Coca-Cola is transparent in the near infrared. But in thermal and the visible cameras, can't see anything. Now let's try the... Ah, so that's interesting. So, so the Coke actually acts like a uh, near infrared uh, pass through filter. Yeah, my cheeks still feel cold. So, guys, if you enjoyed that video, uh, you know, maybe even learned something from it. Please do click the like button and subscribe. That will help out my channel a lot. I would appreciate it very much. So, if you have any comments or suggestions, just type it down below. And till next time, stay safe and see you guys.